Hello, it's your girl, Michelle Man, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys see by the title, you already know we're back with Love Island Games review, y'all. I will be reviewing the whole entire season like I did the previous Love Islands. So, let's get straight into it. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video. We better get straight into it, y'all. I like the first episode. We're going to get to the end, but let's, let's get into the beginning, okay? Because I was kind of worried how that was going to start off because, obviously, it's Love Island Games. So, I was like, is the challenges going to be corny? But, you know, the regular Love Island has challenges as well. So, I'm glad it's kind of similar to the Love Island, the regular Love Island games, I guess. But, it's obviously, it's a little bit different. It was given kind of, I want to say corny, but Love Island games is pretty much like that. So, for the first episode, it was good. I like how the Islanders came in, like, different groups at a time, basically different countries at a time. And, y'all, I'm happy that they brought people in that knew each other. Just like Sally and Justine is back. I like how they, obviously, they knew Ray. I did not know that Sally and Ray ever kissed before. That was news to me. And, y'all, I like how Ray kept it real up front and said that he was checking for Imani. So, as y'all see, it looks like he got what he want. But let's get straight into it. I don't know why I was surprised. I don't know if I was not paying attention to the rules at the beginning. I was like, they kissing at the end of the challenges? Because when I seen Justine and Curtis kiss, I was like, whoa. But obviously, everyone kissed in the challenges. And I was surprised that Justine was feeling Curtis. Because I don't know if I see Curtis as Justine type, really. But obviously, she's like, mm mm. But you guys see that she's paired up with Jack, anyways. And I don't know. I was feeling Justine and Jack. I'm thinking that Jack was feeling Justine, just like he said at the beginning that he was feeling Imani and Justine. So I thought Justine was feeling him. But apparently, y'all, like she said in the makeup room, she's still checking for Curtis. So. Let's see what's going on with that because, as you guys know, we already had the couples after the challenge. So, to end with the challenge, it was good. It was cool. But, to the real juice, y'all. We're here for Love Island, y'all. We're here for the drama. We're here for the love. And then, we're here for the games. Okay. So, with the couples. You know the couples. So, I'm going to just go down the couples list and tell you what I think about them so far on the first day. Lisa and Curtis. I see it for them. I didn't think Lisa was going to go for Curtis. I thought Lisa was going to go for Jack because, you see, Jack was checking for Lisa, too. But, apparently, that's not her type. And I think Curtis is really feeling Lisa. So, I think Curtis is not going to switch up on Lisa. So, I think Justine might need to just stick with Jack for now. Because it looks like Curtis and Lisa... Curtis. Curtis and Lisa is getting along well. So, Imani and Ray. I like how she brought them straight up to the soul ties. Do I think that Imani is feeling Ray like Ray is feeling Imani? No, I don't. I think that Ray is feeling her way more. Like, he's like, F the games. I'm ready to... Leave, and I don't think Imani is like that at all, oh, y'all. I'm thinking she is still waiting for someone else to come in. And like she told him in Soul Ties, that she is just trying to play strategic right now. And he was more like, I'm trying to get to know you. So we're going to see what happens with that, but I think that he's feeling her more. Like I said, with Justine and Jack, I thought that was flirting from like the whole little bed situation with the cuddles and the racing. So I thought that would be cute, but like I said before, Justine might have other plans, Okay. So, we'll see. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Justine and Jack. Okay. Sally and Toby. Now, I see this, y'all. Sally is a sweetheart, and Toby is really nice and genuine. I know we didn't see that so much on his season, but in the end, we really did. So, I do see it for Toby and Sally, y'all. I'm really here for them right now. So, yeah. I see it. Liberty and Colum, y'all. Colum, if you guys watch Love Island Australia, Colum is... He's an F boy, just like Jess said. I don't see him settling down. He's not looking for love, y'all. He is here to play and have a good time. So, I think Liberty should stay clear because she's a sweetheart as well and she don't need to get her heart broke like she did on her season, okay? And last, we have Jess and Steph. I don't think that Steph is feeling Jess and Jess is not the one to play with, honey. He made her say that he was her in her top three. Well, obviously, she said that when she... Like, picked him. She said she wasn't mad about it. But, like, he made her basically say that he was number one. And then when she asked him who his number one is, he's like, well, Lisa really was. And you've seen Jess' face. She is not the one or the two, like she said. Well, she's definitely one. She ain't the two, okay? So, Jess is like, it's already over from that. So, let's get straight into the end, y'all. The juicy part. I do like how they ended off this season. Maya Jemma coming back twice, y'all. Period. That was the end that we was looking for. I obviously knew we seen the cast. We knew Johnny was coming in. But I'm happy that they ended it with a bomb. Like, y'all, that was explosive. I just am so much anticipating for tomorrow's episode, okay? So, I don't really know the Megan. I watch all the Love Islands UK, but I don't recall her like that. So, y'all, 
Let me know in the comments if it's something familiar y'all should know about Megan. Is she drama filled or what? Is she gonna bring the spice, the tea, the what? Anywho, Megan kissing Colum already knew that. And Colum is definitely gonna switch, like I said before, y'all. He is one of those, so he's gonna switch off of Liberty to the Megan real quick. Especially how she jumped on him and kissed him. Like, no, y'all, real quick, okay? And the staff, like I said, he's not feeling just like that. So it looks like Lisa and Megan, they might be similar. So the Megan might be his type as well. And like I said, just she already clocked that book. So last but not least, y'all, the Johnny kissing Imani. I did not see that as well. Like I said, I don't think Imani's really feeling right like that. So I think Imani and Johnny might, you know, because Sally, like she said at the beginning, she does not double back. So she's not doubling back to Johnny. And I cannot wait for tomorrow's episode because I know she is going to be so pissed off when she figure out that it was Johnny who kissed her. I think she might have a little inkling, a little clue, but who knows? So y'all drop in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the first episode of Love Island Games, y'all. I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, the challenge was like, uh, but they got to the juicy part real quick. So I love that they're still keeping the root, the core of Love Island and giving us what we crave, what we need. Anywho, like I said, drop in the comments, let me know what you guys think about tonight's episode. Comment down below what you guys think about my review. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a brand new video. Stay blessed, my loves.